This is a story about a girl named Min Li who lives in the poor Chinese countryside with her father and mother. They all work in the rice fields each day and barely have enough food to survive. What encourages Min Li are her father's stories, which go into the mythology of the area Fruitless Mountain. Min Li wishes for fortune and spends half of her money on a goldfish from a traveling salesman. However, because the family cannot afford to feed the fish, Min Li releases it in a nearby stream. Unbeknownst to Min Li, the fish is magical, which prompts the fish to tell Min Li where to travel to meet the Old Man of the Moon, a mythical and all-knowing figure from one of her father's stories, for the answers as to how Fruitless Mountain can be prosperous. As a result, Min Li decides to leave. During her journey, Min Li meets a dragon who is tied up. Min Li helps the dragon and they travel together to a city so that Min Li can talk to the king. In the city, Min Li meets a boy with an ox who lives in a broken down shack. While there, the boy is visited by his friend, a beautiful young girl, who tells him that the king will be in the marketplace the following day. Min Li waits in the marketplace and instead of seeing a king, she sees an old beggar who wants a peach. She gives the beggar a peach and he is grateful. She follows the old beggar, who turns out to be the king in disguise. Min Li eats dinner with the king and she shares that she's looking for an artifact. The king gives her a piece of paper and she is grateful. Meanwhile, Min Li's parents have returned home to wait her return. Min Li and the dragon continue on their way and see a glowing village in the distance. The weather is too cold for them to travel, so they find shelter in a cave to rest. Min Li is then attacked by a large green tiger, but the dragon saves her. However, the dragon is poisoned by his wounds. Min Li tries to get help, but is then approached by the green tiger. However, a boy and girl save her by tricking the green tiger into jumping into a well. The boy and girl are from the glowing village, and they soon get help to heal the dragon with magical tea. After resting, Min Li and the dragon continue on their journey to the Old Man of the Moon. When they arrive at the mountain of the Old Man of the Moon, Min Li builds a kite and the string constructs a bridge. She can cross the bridge, but the dragon must stay behind. Min Li eventually gets to the end of the bridge and meets the Old Man of the Moon. She is only able to ask one question, and decides to ask the dragon's question instead of her own. When Min Li returns to the dragon, she tells him that the reason he can't fly is because he has a large stone on his head. Once he removes the stone from his head, he is able to fly Min Li back home. In the end, Min Li's mother realizes that she is blessed for what they have, Fruitless Mountain becomes fertile, and everyone in the village becomes wealthy due to Min Li's generosity. Don't forget to subscribe for more Minute Book Reports and thanks for watching.